attention miasma. The elephants, along with the Sasquatch beings of the world, are fomenting behind the scenes revolution to take rest control in one fell, unexpected, unforeseeable swoop. Just trust it. The elephants are sick of us. If you could translate what a, the consciousness of an elephant is perceiving as it goes. Someday change the wall. I, can, I can't do that. I can do it now if you wait till I'm done saying. You gotta finish saying what each other's saying. If you know what I mean? Let's try again. Attention, miasma of the planet Earth and the planet Vorgo. Forgo, Vorgo. The elephants and the sheep and the animals of the world, along with the undiscovered Sasquatch Yeti beings of over subgenus capacities. Capacities, 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 capacities. And you in a new love comes out of sleep. When you in a new love comes up your sleeve. When you in a new love comes up your sleeve. When
Reporting from the NASA office, space station. I'm here um, on a mission from the radio, and my name's Gertie. And I'm here to interview the latest um, uh, star um, uh, known as the Paramedic of Souls. I believe he has an alliance. Beef Bronson, Milky Way. Scar, Spence. that's interesting. Right. And like to Mitch Mang. Uh, um, okay, so I'm just going to commence this interview as we're experiencing. I'm reaching up in outer space. Anti gravity. Not this up. Sorry you to interrupt know, you. If I could get him to listen. So, uh, may I call you Beef? You can call me anything you want, Connie. Just don't call me anything you want, Connie. But it will be different from if it actually was this. Okay. Is my name. I'm All right. Now just so let's bear with me. We've only got a few questions here. Bear with you. I'm, so, hey, we're in space together. We're we're gonna be stuck together for a couple of days, man. I'm. You know I'm like 20 feet I in mean, the air hanging on to this ceiling camera. I am on I, salary, I that, and I do have plans to be. So ask please. away, Mink. I know. That you oh, have. Oh, um, this. It pulls down. Go ahead. I know that you have um, another self-made star, like on the internet, and have amassed somewhat of a cult following, to say the least. I can't help but wonder if they all know your point as it is, like. Many times I can't follow your forever morphing tales to the point, you know? Well, you know, that's the problems come from sometimes, isn't it? I mean, it's like, I think Bill and Dylan did it best in that, like, Penny Baker follow him around in black and white movie form, and he read an interview, and, like, the, the questions are so silly. It's like, well, listen, here's the, what are you uh, really first, saying? here's the, what... Okay, for the record, for my new public weekly public bounty the point coin tag, please. I must I've ask already you. Said do it. you deliberately fabricate mm. choice sentences because you have secret codes that only your closest followers will quote unquote get? That's supposed to be the thing, like the gag that it's like the stupid like element in some weirdo church okay okay church. okay okay we got now, to stick see, to like two sentence Mink, matches here connie you did three page questions and it wasn't even a question well, because it was a whole this is prose the whole okay this one and by golly Please. we're we're not going to get through them all bear with me i know <laughs> you're a genius bear with me what exactly? I'm not a genius. What exactly is I'm evolving. your point? Well, first of all, I'd have to a ask the motive Worst for your answer. motive to answer, ask the question before I could give I'm you an honest answer. I'm before I can, I can. You might be the most difficult, but of course, the most riveting interview. E. I'm doing my I've job. I've ever had to sit through. I mean, I'm doing my job. Most people um, can maintain a modicum, even minute, contest please. winners. In the midst of Jimmy Page and Led Zeppelin, because they won an interview Led Zeppelin contest. Pass those cheese puffs! Can maintain some decorum and professionalism that Robert Plant himself notes out to fucking the fucking people. Fucking photographers, people. this goddamn light fucking show up here and there. But everybody's watching okay. this one. Okay, thank Listen, you very much. Do you, like do you have... You all see it? What am I supposed to do? Do you have... I can't answer the question. That's the do fucking you have, cheese and the string. Do you have violent feelings? Toward the Illuminati, as you have called certain people, you sometimes blatantly threaten. Um. Well, I have to categorically tell you, without a doubt, that like I never referred it's to anyone yes by no. name. This is a yes no, or no. The onus on you is not just a yes or no. First off, that's right off the bat. Can you clearly see how that's an unnecessary roadblock? <laughs> okay. Thrown up like. Mm. With wanton like agenda out of emotion, you're arguing from emotion, and this is 
supposed to be an interview. You can get all the backup you want. I'll Mr. get verification Bates. that, like, once we calm down. For the sake of freedom, I'll address the dignity. pros. All of your fans have been dying for this. I don't interview. have fans, and I don't care if I do. Mr. I just have nothing else to do. This is a yes or no question. This is not a yes or no question. The next question I'm about to ask then you I'm is not a answering. yes or no question. I refuse to cooperate with the terms of the unjust, inconsistent reasoning of the question line and where it's going. Yes or no? It's going nowhere. Beef brandy. Do yes you or no, my ball. Do you lose your own point ever? Of course. I don't care. Like. You're arguing from emotion, cause <laughs> what fucking? That's the way it is. Do you fear you'll I'll expose yourself and fear rejection? Well, I no, I will not answer. I'm not going to answer because I was about to explain the deepest philosophical import of that might explain it, but this interview's over. Thank you, Connie. The cat's really insecure, so they call girls hippies, and they call pets of people hippies. And uh, he's humping his old lady, dreaming about a machine gun instead. Gary is my buddy, all oh, oh. Machine gun. Oh, Benji, clean the paintbrushes. <coughs> Rick took the dust from the clouds in the hall of the sky and the stars. Rick took the dust from the clouds in the hall of the sky with the stars.
Hey, look up in the sky right now by the moon and then go down a little bit to the right. Fuck it. Okay, just look outside and look at the moon and then look to the right just down a little bit and tell me if you see the object that's been stationary for like fucking like my whole lunch break now. Now go to the low. Yeah, yeah. Straight line southeast, Wardley. Probably if you made a peace sign right in front of your freaking. Actually, you know what? It's going slow. I'm videotaping the whole thing. I'm out here fucking bugging out for a sig. I'm trying to quit sigs. Huh? I don't. That is the weirdest thing ever, man. It was. It's still there, man. I got it on videotape. I'm videotaping her. I know, I'm, well, I'm looking at it, okay, I'm facing the moon, and then taking that line that divides the part of the moon you can see and going a straight line that way, southeasterly, a little bit right down the sky, and there's just like a fucking, what looks to be a star in the sky, it was way bigger, I got it on videotape, it's fucking radical. It's slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah, like imagine there's a fucking line going. You see how the moon has a line dividing the part you can see and the part that's dark? Now go rightwards, following that line in your imagination, fucking southeasterly, and tell me if you see what looks to be just a little dot, a star. I got it on tape. I'm taping it right now. I taped it while it was still big. Yeah, well, it you would see. No, no, it's not really near the moon. It's like you have to go kind of easterly, right through the sky, downwardly. Forget it, lady. I got it on tape. I'm taping it now. There's no way it's a plane. There's no possible way it's a plane because it's not going anywhere, but it's been slowly moving out of the line of sight. And it... Check it out. I said check it out. I'm gonna go. But I got it on tape when it was still big. Yeah. The... Yeah. I'm trying to quit smoking. I'm going nuts right now. Like fucking... Yeah, that would rule, dude. What's that? Yeah, yeah, totally. Alright. Alright, yeah, bitch. Time again. Yeah, I got a uh, patient care technician fucking like... Uh, exam for entrance into a free union training program tomorrow at 9 so I gotta take it easy you gotta do what? alright well There's nothing wrong with partying, but like fucking. Oh, if shit's going in wrong, turn five. Let's make it fucking kick ass beyond the realm, man. Like. It's so weird, man. It's like um, it's gonna become like naked to my. I mean, invisible to my eye soon. But it's been fucking moving away. For like the last five minutes and 39 seconds and when it when i started videotaping it was like what the fuck is that man it ain't a plane it's like fucking like just sitting there in the sky yeah you wonder if it's la bru So what time is the practice?
I get out at 8.30. Man, I fucking, I hope this picked it up, man. I'm freaking out. To do what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have his number in your phone? Will you text it to me? I gotta go back to work soon. Alright? So, practice. If it's at 8.30, when I get out, it's gonna take like an hour. Because that's how long it takes to get home. Dude, it is so weird. It's like it's fucking so. It's just a fucking barely a dot now that I can barely pick out. It's fucking. What is that in the sky that would move away so fucking slowly? All right, bye. Bye. Oh man, I can barely see it now. It's about to go invisible. If this didn't tape, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Where's the fucking thing? Oh, it's not coming up there. That looks visible. Alright, the dot is now fucking easy. Attention human beings on the dark side of the planet Earth. We are intuitively speaking to each one of you non-verbally in your mind, but as you look at each other wherever you are on the nighttime side and as the Earth travels on its axis westward, coming in towards sunset and the nighttime, you will begin to hear on the tip of South America. It, this will be breaking news in a matter of moments on the daytime side of the Earth, the biggest story of all time. Which is why we're sending you advanced, advanced things that there's no way you could possibly understand, but you feel good and you feel fearless right now. You're filled with an overwhelming, but not overbearing sense of kind of blissful, the strawberry celestial craft is coming in behind the moon, coming in behind Venus and Jupiter. It's above the plane of the Earth so that it's clearly being lit by the rays of the sun. And if you look towards the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, you should see it.
this intuitive internal voice that you hear. Fucking who knows, man. It could be like Project Bluebeam. But you feel really good, don't you? Like, yeah, well, so will a fucking Iraqi being fucking waterboarded after he's given comfort pussy the Koran and like ecstasy laden orange juice that's like from the top chemists that know how to make the groovy stuff. Uh, you'd think that a strawberry fucking celestial craft that is now visible in the nighttime sky positioning itself while it talks to everyone on the dark side of the planet it, on an intuitive non-audible in, inner level. In 36 seconds, there will be seven minutes remaining until we illuminate the entire dark side of the planet with a blazing light that is brighter than supernova light but will not harm the eyes. For those more attentive, and we can't believe because we have YouTube and we have your World Wide Web on the strawberry UFO that can exhibit, look, non-ballistic motion. We can't believe in the last 42 hours when we suspended the Doppler effect that we haven't had a video or a report anywhere. And we're pretty intelligent people as you can plainly see as we approach. We have a way of super thinking in a way that only your people acquainted with the concept of the singularity can understand. Super thinking, super fast thinking, millions of eons of thought. So we've seen everything, all the accumulated output of everything on your planet in the 42 hours since we suspended the Doppler effect to see if anyone would react, and none of you did. There were 42 people that know this. One person in the 42 hours that trains with go by, claims with go by. It could have been the amped up, like, 11th hour last ditch attempt by what you call the Illuminati, the wicked ones, mentioned in the Iroquois Confederate Constitution. I'm here with Venus. Say hi, Venus. So look, last time you weren't so shy, like freaking, you know what I mean? Like I was on that long thing and then when I got to the new Cole Kidman, Cold as Ice, Ice Princess movie, 
Do you remember magical thinking? I have the video like just then you happen to have been pouring a cup of ice. Do you remember Venus? Not if you were the last immigrant grocer on earth, honey. Why don't you tell the viewers, does the things you say make any sense or are they codes that only your fans can witness? Well, that is an interesting question. I don't know. I mean, you could be big headed and say, oh, we're going to last a couple of years, but then you end up not going over, except as at all in the States. I hope we do all right. Would you rather pee in my arms or poop on Uranus? I'd rather, um, have the privacy of the great storm on Jupiter to masturbate, like, as long as I want without the long arm of Connie Kansas City Karen. You see, this is what Kansas City Karen does to me, man. She gets me to think about Wotan with a lip crung out of his tooth bag. Ninjas with tits, but really are Santa Claus enthusiasts of the Gene Hackman onion of Don Cheadle, Berg principles of anthropicity. Good. Ha. Anyhow, Venus, I will give credit to where credit is due. In what seemed to be a random choice of communiques. After heeding and obeying your exhortation, kind of like, oh, Jesus, Susie says you do what? Okay, fine. What? I want a five in the email. Okay, do you want it in a big font? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I give credit where credit's due. I don't just argue about anything to argue about anything. I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but I want to just show each side a little bit so I can count the sides at a later point, because I'm into phi. And it's odd, because Susie, look at that. There's phi. Isn't that phi? Fucked up day or what? There's side one. There's side two. There's side three. And there's side four. But wait. The number of books that I will release by the year 2017 on the day that the first solar eclipse is visible from the United States is all to be considered as one grand piece. The books, Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1 through 3, Being in Infinities, Volume 1 and 2, Funhouse Yoga Theory and Practice, Christian McVoid, Thanatome Medics, will eventually eat, have to equal up to a side 5. And because I'm a whack job. Side six. So there you have it. And since, oh shit, it wasn't even on camera. <laughs> I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets my message in a bottle.
Chituaga, 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 I'm gonna end my video by ending like right where. That's a great picture. A secret door to the Vatim of Underground. Oh, don't tell me that before yet. I have done it a couple times. Okay, Sam. I think I didn't record it. Oh, that was great, anyway, it's not recording. Oh crap, I forgot to stop. <laughs> Bypass button off just as the cheetah horse leave the stage. Like, <laughs> our notes sound off, and it's just like. <laughs> that was what crazy. you got? What we the last the last like twenty seconds of your gig? You just bang. Oh, what a goose I am. 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 Coming up.
can I tell you little peoples? Come down here. What's not going down there? Just kidding. The the anti human anti human dialectically speaking, not in well, yes, in a Hegelian dialectical template, of course, fueled the grandparents joined at the head forevermore niche, niche to these notions that any illusion of consciousness as it seeks to go subterranean upon its own self-knowledge of its immortalness through sheer onslaught of said infinity, we find ourselves here, dreaming every night and then waking, and it's like sometimes some of us, like, uh, that was a pretty weird dream, man. I'm with that boy by the lake, and then we figured out this way to spread the news like Paul Revere, if necessary. I was freaked out, man. You know what I mean? And then you wake up and you're like, oh, that was just a dream. That was just a dream. Try, try, try. That was just a dream. Until Kansas City Karen came into the picture. Kansas City Karen came back into the picture. Kansas City Karen came back into the pick kick 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 Fucking forgot the task at hand. The ego flying into the zone, flying into the zone, flying into the zone. The ego flying into your zone. The ego is flying into your zone. The ego flying into your zone. Zone. That's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. Ego, and if you're doing ego with it, what you're doing? 
And what you doing, you are doing just the evil man She tell me all the time Was she tell me all about you know Was she tell me all about you If I want to think I love you And if I want to think I love you That's why And I'm going to work out Benign flash rise and we'll plan really awesome middle of the night flash riots and we'll call really safe and righteous middle of the night, middle of the morning, summertime at 401 a.m. every week on a spur at 3:38. You get the text that says if you go to Highland Park in Highland Bowl specifically and look at it from the sidewalk connecting it to South Avenue back turn around about face make sure there's no cars coming look both ways cross the street when safe scurry through that big thatch of bushes if you see an open path clearly otherwise just go to the left and if need be, until you see that sidewalk that seems to go interiorward. So here's what you do. You're facing Highland Bowl on the sidewalk that connects it on its side to South Avenue. You do an about face. You're not. The Highland Bowl is now behind you and below you. And you are looking across the street. You'll see to the far radical right, the first driveway is a kind of department of Highland Park, transportation, the salt in the road, snow plow, like kind of like mulching, general housekeeping, groundskeeping, parking. Driveway, maybe with a couple of fish and feet. You see another road. Don't go that far. Come back. Go back the other way you came. Turn left when Highland Bowl is behind and below you. Just after you ascertain that it was safe to cross the street. And when you cross the street, if you don't already find that in through the thatch of bushes that you will see if you go to this location. Better yet, you cross the street, you're looking at it, take a left down that sidewalk on the adjacent sidewalk on South Avenue. Not too long at all. Maybe upon visual assertion by turning left, once you cross that sidewalk, you'll be like, oh, it's right there. Then you walk the 17 seconds it takes to get to that street that goes up, straddling. Where they're leading you. Now, don't molest it in any way, but if you cross that street's sidewalk to its adjacent sidewalk, on the corner by a tree, and you shouldn't disturb it, but just to confirm that it's there, there's a little rock. It straddles the pebble size and ingrained into it, etched into it, technologically, is <clears throat> Jesus is the rock. Now, if you see it there, don't out there you'll see it and then if you're cool about my like long oh you forgot that this was about the flash rides that will start in the verse of that song that I just made up just now the flash mobs 
a phenomenon known on the internet as meet here right here in fucking 45 minutes. Now, there's a lot of people in the world that would love this activity. And it'd be awesome if somebody got, like, the wherewithal together mentally to think it through. Like, how to do it in such a way that when it eventually garners media coverage, it's cast in the light of its most, uh, for, if you know what I mean, spin, like, this flash mob guarantees that it will change its number upon the first broadcast of this actual newscast because they want it to remain true and safe and they advise people to go to the ha ha he han is what you're doing people dot com website for the manifesto and it's a manifesto in the most look man here we're in reality we're alive what the fuck do we do to not suck? Is there any way from preventing sucking? Bye, Biffman. All right, so forget about the. the ego. Is what you're floating through mind. That's what you do. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. You're straight. That's it. We know about the thing you have, and you know you know we. TMZ Pig fart Dirty laundry She tell you about the plane crash With the gleam in her eye Cause yeah she's smoking I believe in Red Ridge Pretty Judy Red Ridge Pretty Judy Red Ridge Ridge Pretty Judy Pretty Judy Red Ridge, it's pretty to the pretty to the Red Ridge, pretty to the
fucking our plane. We went down in the Okie Finoki swamp. We don't know where. We went into it, man. We like our consciousness is somehow, man, in those split seconds, man. Like, believe you me, man. If you like leave in a blue mood, you're going to a blue place, and we're like way fucking more intense. And what would appear after a life lived in like you have to sleep every day and like, work a week, circadian rhythms as a human being, like one would expect. Uh, relatively speaking, the coming to awareness to the post-mortal consciousness of a seeming omniscient, multi-dimensional ability. Now, what that is, from the indications of the shaman's account, my account, the journeyer's account, the eagle's account. The Eagles too, Mean Gene Oakland, Green Grass. My name is Ntaha. He has Fanak. Now on this multi Bivnin. Bivnin. Soon we'll be away from here. Wipe those tears from your eyes and put the bags in the limo, man. We got a network and a team and resources. To take you where you will, your dream can come true where it will. Your dream of your life can come true. The dream of your life can come true. What are the dreams of your life? What are the situations in your dream come true? What are the specifics of how it looks in your dream come true? Tell me how's it look in your dream come true? Tell me what you're doing to make that your existence you. Tell me what it is that makes you not want to do your universe through you. Tell me who you are, you're the universe. Too. What if a wheel, water consciousness? What if the ego usurped the primacy of the way to look at the situation, man? Is that we are water that is conscious of itself. Water has become self-conscious of self-conscious. Water consciousness has become water. Self, 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 self. Water, 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 aware at this point in time. What does your dream come true look like? Because water is the sovereign air. Morin can Alan Don Tilston's Fifi in the Rats Trail of Dojo. For we quitting people forever and the meaning of the word is the what it is, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said oh yeah, oh yeah. I said oh yeah, oh yeah. I said oh yeah, oh yeah. I said, oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Keith Donkey Man, and I'm here with Rochester, New York's premier rock and roll sex tap, the Cheetah Horse. Say hi, Cheetah Horse. Hi, Cheetah Horse. What's hi, your name? Cheetah Horse. What's your name and what do you play? I play guitar. Now, you there. With the red scarf, what's your name and what do you play? I'm Lizzie and I play the skin flute and I sing. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. This is Keith Donkey Man. What's your name and what do you do in the Cheetah Horse? Heather Jones. I play guitar and also indulge in the skin flute from time to time. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Heather, I. Suck a mean skin flow too. <laughs> As this bra obviously shows you. What's your name and what do you do? 
My name is Bumpy Got It's Joan L. Pitts. And I play the didgeridoo. <laughs> and the drums, viewers. Last <laughs> but not least. Who are you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, crap. Hi, I'm Gary D. Archer, and I play the bass for the Cheetah Horse. <laughs> and I also want to know, have you ever seen anybody do the moonwalk forward? <laughs> this is Dazzle. The moonwalk forward. <laughs> Ribbit. She don't just be making like a one wing dub stuff. She be stroking. You watch your mouth. All right, did this get any sound?
don't know how to be the cameraman. You got that, man. Come on, shut up. You got that, right? Who's afraid of the... Holy shit. Who's afraid of the fucking scary ghost? You're not gonna do that to us, are ya? Ooh, I'm we are making the video of... This is what you say. Who's afraid of the fucking scary ghost? <laughs> we each are doing our own version of it. You gotta break out with a fucking scary ghost! Because when you play back the video, it's gonna you're gonna hear this, not like us. I don't know. What? That's the scary ghost. No, just keep it going, man. Who is afraid of the fucking scary ghost? Who is afraid of the scary ghost? <laughs> Retarded. Retarded. John, who is afraid of the fucking <laughs> scary ghost? Bring it. Huh? Do your fucking. Who's afraid? Who's afraid of the scary ghost? Oh, come on, I'm bring it. My, uh, I go come on, bring some, it. Get, come get, on. Go fuck a, fuck a, come on. Wait, what's my Who's motivation? afraid of the fucking scary ghost? I gotta have him. I'm gonna get him. I'm go Alright, this fucking rule. I got one word Hold for on. you. Just right. one. Who's afraid of the fucking scary ghost? <laughs> who could be... Who could fucking possibly be afraid of the fucking scary ghost? Alright. Woo! Woo! Let's go smoke a cig. I'm glad I skateboarded. Where are you at? What time is it now? What time is it now? Oh, so you just called. It said you called at 7.07. Uh, yeah, whatever works, man. Uh... I'm alright, I just need to take a shower, like fucking, 
put on clothes, I guess. Alright. 8.30. Alright, see ya. Hi, viewers of the Infinite Future. My name is Randy Duck Man. What I'm doing here is chasing a moment that has occurred in my musician history twice, two summers ago, for about two hours each time. After a long practice bender, for like two hours I could do anything. I walked to the store like playing with my knuckles. <laughs> And then it just went away. It was weird, man. Like, imagine a teenage Einstein for two hours, like, way before he figured out special and general theory of relativity. Like, like for two hours, he could, like, he figured it all out, but then it went away or something. You know what I mean? Like, I was opening the cooler in the Arab Mart, getting a beer while, like, my knuckles were like going, fingers were like going like this. I'm twirling the guitar around. My friend Sheila, who's like fucking, she's nobody's fool. I think it was the first time I saw her like look at me and go, oh, uh, whoa. Put my like fucking Achilles heel for like two hours, like anything. Man. And then it went away, viewers. What was that? Uh, Michael. The absolute spirit, proto scene by scene synopsis. Take the Fred, Dad, or D. Starship D. The Starship. My name is Gildersleeves. It used to be Jerk Jeerden, but about a year ago or something like I, I had to really go out of my way for it. Fucked up my credit, man. But it was, it was whacked out, man. There was these two kids like on drugs or something that came screaming up to my drummer. Uh, what's her name? Uh, whatever that says is her name. So anyhow. They're tripping balls or something. They're like, we just saw a car run over a cat. She's like suddenly ready to cry her eyes out. I'm like, oh, here we go. And 
like these happen. We've got certain abilities. Completely calm, expedient almost. Here is the Jeet Kune Do of figuring this shit out. You saw it that way, blah, 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 blah. I could see the colorblind glow of its eyes under a porch. All of a sudden, Jonelle is like the cat, like Kirandera. She's like, oh, get it, stay here, I know cat. She can't get to it. She's doing all of her like, come on. The thing darts out real fast. The two boys can't catch it. It's clearly got two broken hind legs. Terrified. And once again, in the three other previous, like, this is the moment to bring it kind of thing, couldn't have been more of a sort of snap reaction, kind of like a Fibonacci curvature and perfect uh, getting the cat before it gets too far into the road with its two broken legs took it to the vet, they were rolling their eyes, like, we should just put it to sleep, I'm like, nah, I'll pay for it, <laughs> fucking, cat ended up being a dick, but that night, oh wow, cool, once again, this is take two for a proto mystery epic, the absolute spirit, I am <clears throat> trying to do my best to, uh, <clears throat> Improvise the opening soliloquy with the main character, Gildersleeves, explaining this shit. So, I paid for the cat to live, and uh, the vet, Hughes the Dow, is well atop that building right there. Anyhow, that night, the Archangel. Michael appeared to me on a flaming marshmallow, self-unsolving Rubik's Cube. Yeah, up until that point, I was jerked, jeered in. Had a lot of wild ideas and, like, those radical, like, uh, moments of crisis, bring it, man. Uh, inexplicable, awesome stories. All of a sudden, I remembered. You know... I work for the Archangel Michael, and before I became Jerk Jeerden, born in 1976, uh, imagine an allied paratrooper just after D-Day, uh, or bef sometime before D-Day, like parachuting into occupied... Oh, wow. I hope that picks up. Real bitchin' chemtrail blocking the moon, as if to say, you can't stop us. So anyhow, back to me, pre-being the mortal me that's holding this fictional soliloquy that I'm improvising. That's when I remember that. I paratrooped into occupied territory into my mother's, my human mother's womb. Had all these talents and abilities, and uh, at a certain point, wicked chemtrails, man. That's not unnatural. All right, absolute spirit take to the opening soliloquy. Keith Donkey realizes that he really is Gildersleeves, the Lando Lake chick. Hey. The Lando. You're obsessed with the Lando Lake chick, huh? I'm obsessed with her return of Christ, perfect tits and chest. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. How are you guys? Good. How are we? How you doing, Gary? I'm alright, how are you? Good. Good? Good. Very good. Very well. Still on the wellness wagon? Yeah. Trying what to do Fishing. Have you seen my fishing video that I found this morning that I posted? Mm. 
You posted a fishing video? Well, no, I found this kid's video and it had like one of the tunes that almost came on twice. I'm getting At the party last night? Yeah. After writing this thing, blabbing my mouth off about like fucking casting off the fear of death and like fucking dying if necessary, like the five of like tyrannical cocksuckers. I found this too and it was like perfect. And it was a fishing video. That's weird. Put some comments like, man, I should have uh, freaked out from my last day at work. And then I found this shit with my fishing video. That's weird. Not as weird as. Weirder than weird. Hello, boys. Hello, girls. Hello, men and women. Equally. I hope your existence is going as well as it can. There is nothing to fear. Nothing at all. You can wake up. You can be asleep. You can reach a moment where there's just no more doubt anymore. Existence becomes who you are. The best of what is left from this moment on. Or from this moment on. Okay, man, 40 years of rolling by. Or from this right now. And now imagine 40,000 millennia from this moment as we reckon it on Earth time. Which, as an aside, before I get to the... Papa, you promised to read a 776 notebook. Papa, 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 you promised to read us the 776 notebooks. Papa, you promised to read those 776 notebooks. Okay, girls. Hello, ladies. Here's the first thing you find in it. A cover shot of the old NASA photo book cover. Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1. Ma. It. Rea. Ma. See. Might. Rea. Mac. Since we're only two minutes into the first video, I might as well make this the complete and utter asshole's guide to ha ha hee haw and the cast of hee haw I fuck Alabama and and Don Allen's window came and smashed into my ass cause it was the seesaw Rudolph Papa you promised I read a 776 now I fuck the judge my country boner, it won't go down, it won't go down, it won't go down, won't go down, it won't go down. America, fuck yeah, coming to town to save the credibility, sure, yeah, man. America, come fuck you. Not America, but the you that's superfusing America willfully and wantonly, knowing as such to the rest of the many majority of masses which may perchance have a serendipitous moment of discovery upon listening to this perhaps, or anything else, the variety of things by which a trigger can cause a quantum leap into realms on fathom, un, unpreparable for, a beautiful. Anyhow, Papa, read a 776 notebook, 776 notebook. There's a rule according to higher law, followed by a pencil squiggle with a heartbeat thing. Alibi. The, li the life and times and influence of clear light of the void. Bye. 
After Maxime, it's a after Maxime, it's a after Maxime, it's a that's Lucy in the Sky with Diamond backwards. Let me just cue it up so there's no doubt. Before I read for the girls, Anna, Crystalline, and Emily, rest assured. I'm about to read this. But Daddy, you said that an hour ago. I know, but you know how Daddy has flights of ideas. Yes, but Daddy, before we must go to sleep, please, Daddy, read us a section from 776. You mean 776, daughters? Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1, 1, 1, 1. That's what the problems come from sometimes, isn't it? Okay. I get what you mean, man. Hours ago, man. Hours ago, Daddy. Daddy, don't make me fall over. You watch your mouth, little girls. Little girls. Without further ado, if you will, come back. Anna, come back. I'll read 776. Okay, Patty, okay. Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1, Matreya Mac. Yes, Daddy, read that one. Read the 776 notebook. Okay, girls. Hi, girls, is what it actually says. Like, look. <laughs> All right, now listen. You wanted to listen so long. Paramedic of Souls, Volume 1. Matreya Mac. Matreya Mac, Daddy. When Fluffy Cornwad finally got his life under control around the early months, early mid-months of 2012, he began to finally complete the various books, Anna, that he had formulated in his mind uh, oh, so many years ago, at least 10 to 14 years previous to your birth, girls, any of your births. Sten Fincel, Quit acting like an origami Marie Master Donato Plimpton. Like Royal Armada of Privilege with no particular snotty reason. Like Pinata, like Illusion Armadas from outer space of extraterrestrial bullshit, okay? Okay, Daddy, just read the rest of the first page. Alright, girls, I know you're getting frustrated. Daddy. Your mother's coming in now. Like, I'll read it, I'll read it, I swear. Many credit this late bloomer's turnaround to the birth of his first kids and just something inexplicable, girls. Something, something happens, you learn so much and... Those parts of your learning as you experience the weeks that go into the months, the decades that you come to live in if you're lucky enough. Sometimes they interconnect, but like while the decade or more was going on where each different forward awareness, forgetting about the thing that came before but being retained, formed its own island up here. But then at a certain point, like one highway made a connection to the other, like if somebody I was with or walking with, like, fell down a steep hill and, like, then dropped at the bottom of that hill down this, like, straight down chasm for 10 feet and happened to land on a really big shard of glass that was pointed right up into his or her, like, any part of the body. Like, what would be the way to expedite? salvaging that situation well assess the situation first like are we at the top of the hill as per this example then we need to find our own safest way if we clearly perceive that that event just happened for ourselves to get to the scene of the grievously injured potentially recipient of the method the only heart 
hartological method worth mentioning. Anyhow, ladies, ladies, we're going on 10 minutes now. Can I finish this? You have to go to bed after you get your ice cream and your almonds, 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 joy. I love you too. I love all you girls. Now listen. This is what you've been asking for. Paramedic of Souls Quadrilogy, as well as Being in Infinity, and Funhouse Yoga, Super Movie, The Movie, Christian Philemon, the book Marion McMenemy, the compilation Star Filled Body, the Owata Goose I Am videos. Paramedic of Souls Volume 1, Maitreya Mac, was published on September 25th. It was a tour de force unlike anything comparable on the marketplace. Within a month it was a mass sensation and upon the start of Christmas, the Christmas buying season, and then again even double, triple that the next year and the year after, it became instantly historical right off the bat, becoming a beep 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 times bestseller. In a mere seven months, the biggest selling nonfiction book of all time in like three, four years. It was literally an avalanche that just grew and grew exponentially, but then it reached a certain nodal point and it just was like, whoa! Everybody knows that we know that we're right, Karen! Its ideas, its ideas changed philosophy overnight. It changed the world's perception of Christianity overnight. It was nothing less than a quantum Copernican revolutionary leap for Christian thinking, philosophy. It was a Copernican quantum revolutionary epiphany in the minds of the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people perhaps a billions at this point that can't deny that know in their consciousness and mull over conspiracy theories. It was nothing less than a quantum Copernican revolution for everyone involved. <clears throat> Parentheses, it occurred to them, let's quit pointing out that there is a conspiracy with all these facts of them. Because this is this and this and this and that thing happened there and there and there. There is a conspiracy. Okay. Because this and this and this, this thing happened, there's a, okay, that seems like, yeah, there's no doubt. That seems fucked up. Okay, how many more times do we need to count? Let's forget about counting and act like NASA astronaut trainees and fucking like, like we're in flight simulators preparing because we value freedom, right? What if something did take it over? Like, there'd be no harm in like imagining that each of these scenarios are true and maybe even get into it too and find where our talents lie and truth <sighs> ladies come on daddy keep going alright that's pretty good isn't it yeah it yeah, is alright then Fucking <laughs> Archer's chapters on Christianity ushered in a complete paradigm shift with regard towards a radical re-understanding of the nature of Christ on a level that even scientists unrelated and absolutely unconcerned with ruminations on the nature of Christ could understand in the realm of moral physics of the natural way of the natural law of the universe and the supremacy of righteousness right from the outset with a series of original breathtaking parables about Christ then followed by an exhaustive commentary on the nature of human beings and their age-old will to coerce and power other human beings. Suddenly, certain militant Christian sects 
in the blink of an eye, such as the God Hates Bags Christians and all other offshoots, there were, mind you, those freaks, those off the Richter scale of like fucking creeps that just hang on to their anger and make that like, even though you prove that they're wrong. They're gonna show you by carrying through their coercions with like unspeakable acts sometimes. God forbid. But huh, the brilliance in how this effect came about, girls. <laughs> Daddy lay within the commentary that followed the chapter of New Christian Parables. After stating what we know is obvious, but never quite elucidated before, that you've never, for one, you've never been able to trust human beings, the dark side of man, that wicked, no good double-dealing part that keeps, like, fucking, what the fuck? Like, still, in us, like, to this day. That the brilliance in how this effect came about lay within the commentary that followed the chapter on the new Christian parables. After stating that we all know is obvious, but never knowing quite before the dark side of man and whatnot, that man seeks to coerce others at lots of times throughout history, and maybe even on this day in local levels that you can't even like fathom until just now. And that knowing this and separating the righteous truths in the universe from the telltale contaminated grafted to it by mortal storytelling and manipulative leading and then Archer laid it down for us by an exhaustive analysis of the word ineffable and briefly pointed out how the Bible by definition could not possibly be ineffable he humorously but aptly points out that for the Bible to be considered infallible a second definition of the word infallible would have to have been inserted into the dictionary and its meaning would be, ironically, exactly the opposite of the original word infallible, without contradiction, without any possible means to defeat a corrupt version of this with a moral high ground. But Mr. Archer didn't stop there. He then leads us through every possible response to expect from such dogmatists, and they do have many, and demonstrates the presence of mere human will to coerce, not Jesus Christ, after listing all the responses of dogmatic, religious, fanatic, or anybody truly so far into their idea man like come on there's certain limits like we live together in the world like we have to take some practical concerns about like let's just like keep life living and not get too radically crazy with our ideas the christian copernican revolutionary quantum leap follows when he asserts that anyone even an atheist when they arrive at a moment in their own life experience when they choose to heed in the privacy of their own developing self-consciousness the righteousness and the good that are the supreme moral and inarguably the wisest way to live on earth and the only way worth its weight in anything worthwhile potential for any future earth obviously a lot of folks were screaming anathema for a variety of reasons at that point girls <laughs> Say, but then what did you do? But then me asserts, <coughs> girls. <laughs> Any, even the atheist is essentially born again, quote unquote. Whether or not the synaptic cogni the synaptic cognitive neural chemical biological phenomenological construct which has come to typify that own person's private developing consciousness and what it could possibly conceive as being the most rational and real. When they arrive at a moment in life when they choose to heed their conscience, realize that righteous and the good are the supreme moral and wisest way to live and grow up together on the earth, he asserts that any, even the atheist, is essentially born again. 
whether or not their synaptic cognition is verbally named as Jesus Christ, the only way and means by which man can come to the Father of humanity and its personality may possibly survive the death of the body in an immortal kingdom. Adherence to dogmatic silly phrases. I mean, the story is addressed in the Jesus story itself, people. Come on. Archer assures us that if you do Christian things like forgiveness, charity, laying down your life for others, seeing a moment within the realms of your life when you know what the right thing is to do, even if there's no one that will ever be around to see it, and whatever, the right, everyone knows who knows better. And this is the beginning of the paramedic of souls system of thought, the bedrock, the foundation. The right and the good is the sovereign heir to any future worthwhile of this earth. The good. And those who know it know this is without a doubt the tautology that consistently supports the steel trap which is to follow. Lady, I wanna go dark trap. No, you're gonna read this. I'm only on page four. But just wait, check this out. No, Dad, we want to be not bad. Well, check. Well, how about this? What, Dad? In the preface, Mr. Archer lays the foundation on which his history changing system over logic is built. Okay. With a breathtaking steel trap, unassailable consistency, empirically but futilely speaking. Oh, Dad, that's brilliant. That's an historical thing if you really did it, Dad. He starts with the conscious experience of lived human righteousness. His entire personal view of existence, most importantly here, his concern for a current modern man and the logical thought system he has conceived to possibly ameliorate it, the foundation upon which all is built upon, is a rock-solid and indisputable establishment and defining of in our current Bible terms is the nature of love and righteousness, the good and reason in lived experience, consciousness. As he has experienced throughout his life, the nature of his love he simply calls at this point in the preface, as Plato did, the good. Oh shit, is this another 22 minute, 22 second video?